permanent. He left me on a yacht in Dubai on my own. Oh, no, 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 no. Sickos, friends, that is not true. <laughs> and he got in his Lambo and drove home. That's Madam Joyce. I'm Harry Pinero. And here's Shan Welcome to the show where we predict whether a couple will stay together or break up. If at least two of us correctly predict it right, they'll win £1,000. This is It Will Never Last! What is the lamest excuse you've used to get out of the date? Shout out to the friends that you called during yeah. your fake emergencies. Right now, right now. They are the loyalist friends. I called my friend for the emergency call. I was like, oh my God, girl, what happened? What? 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 She stuck to the role. And I, and I managed to, to make an escape. But sometimes you need that friend. Well, listen, enough of the chit chat. Let's meet the couple. Today's couple are Olivia and George. They've been together for 11 months and are blowing up on TikTok. But George has a habit of putting his mates first. Will these two last? Let's find out. Welcome! Welcome! Hello, hello, hello. Yes. So how are you guys, okay? Yeah, yeah, good. So what do you love about each other? Oh, there we go, good one. Liv's like the most like weird, like, but in a good way. Like, you know when someone's just like really like, just strange, but like it's so funny to watch. Is it always, you know, mates before dates with you, George? Yeah, quite a lot of the time. Oh, yeah. okay, solid foundations need to be built yeah, and stuff. Yeah, of course. Don't know about and him. how does that make you feel, knowing that he puts the, the brothers before you? Um, oh yeah, that was a good one. I think because we live together, I kind of just let it slide. Apart from like, if we're out and then he'll just like leave me on my own. Oh, what? Georgie how boy! You left her. No, 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 not like on her own, like with her. He left me on a yacht in Dubai on my own. I woke <laughs> up and there's no one there. He left her on a boat and she's still with him. Excuse but me. But I left you with like some good no, mates. No, yeah, you mine. left me with some mates that you met exactly. the day exactly. before. Exactly. Whoa! No, 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 Wait, no, no, hold no, on no, no, no. Second. So they weren't even your friends. They were no, my friends. That is not <laughs> true. And he's got in his Lambo and drove home. Oh my god. Um, that is some serious no. tea there. How can you defend yourself in this yeah, situation? Yeah, sure. Because they, I had known them for a long time. I hadn't just met them yesterday. Liv was already going to get a taxi home with her mates anyway, and then so that's why I left them with them. So it wasn't actually that deep. It was. It was all organised, it was fine. Did you hear that, guys? It wasn't that That's deep. deep. She didn't right. say it, but he did. <laughs> I have a question. Have you guys had any breaks? <laughs> kind of after Dubai, like... It was a break, but it wasn't a breakup. Yeah. Because we were still in Dubai together. But we didn't speak for but quite... But we went on great terms. Yeah, we didn't speak for a bit. And, and how did that, you know, get, get sorted out? We kind of just posted it all over TikTok and then everyone was like, oh, just sort it out, sort it out. And oh, then wow. we ended up sorting it out. <laughs> That's it, guys. When your relationship is going bad, the first thing you should always do is go on TikTok and post about it. Yeah. We were, like, communicating with each other, like, three videos. Yeah. So you resolved the matter via social media? We did talk and I, and I think also, like, we knew because we were living together, we were going to move back and, uh, you know, it was just... It's quite a lot of like hassle, I guess. It's so, a lot of hassle to break up. We might oh, as well stay oh, together. Because oh, 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 then you've got to share the okay, rent. Yeah, yeah. Because you're not sharing the okay. rent, putting <laughs> it between the two. This is a TikTok business arrangement. I'm. This is not love. I'm telling you. What's the hardest thing about having a relationship on social media? I think just people assume they know everything. I can post something, it'll be taken as you deserve better. I'm like you're really caring. He's really loving. He always like cooks me and he always cleans and I don't want to clean. So it seems as if they make sacrifices for each other. I love that. Yeah. George, um, describe your relationship in three words. <laughs> uh, well, that's a difficult one. No, it's not. This should be easy. Know your woman. Um, probably... We've been together for a year. That wasn't awkward at all. Like, these two, I don't think they're gonna make it to the end of the day. So, every relationship starts with a spark. George, I have a list of five places Olivia likes to be touched. Mm. Your job is to put those places in order. Mm. If you get it right, you get the bell. But if you get it wrong, you both get an electric shock. Mm. And not a sexy one. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah. George, which part of Olivia's body are you going to pick first? Remember, we are looking for the place that Olivia likes to be touched the most. Mm. Give it to me. Mm, no pressure. 
The air. <laughs> the air. Why did you choose the air? I guess like, you know, biting the air and stuff. Like. Does she like a licky licky? <laughs> a little nibble? Yeah, yeah, sometimes. As a number one thing. Are you correct? Ah! <laughs> yes! Wakey, wakey! Wakey, wakey. It was on the list, but it was number four. Mm. Let's try again. The number one place that Olivia likes to be touched. I'm not getting shocked again. Oh, I don't know. It's five, isn't it? So. I just saw what she did there. <laughs> I saw what she did there. I saw what she did there. I swear to God. Olivia is fighting for Okay, so. <laughs> he's aiming for the boobs. He's aiming for the boobs. He's aiming for the boobs. Three, two. Wait, hold on. <laughs> George, unfortunately, that was wrong. Olivia does like to be touched in the boobies, but oh it's not her most sensitive area. Third attempt at finding the number one spot. Can he do it? George, it's got to be third time lucky now. Come on. Um, how much do you know her? I'm, yeah. not, I'm not very confident in this, I can't lie. Oh, well, I don't think she is. <laughs> it's a place that probably every time you see her, you touch. <laughs> so we have locked in lips. Three, two, one. Yay! Yay! You are right. So you guys. There you go. Third time lucky. Third time lucky. So yeah. number one spot is her lips. And maybe you can learn something, George. <laughs> maybe you can learn you something. If you looked at my eyes, you would have seen me go at this. Five minutes, so. Ah! I saw what she did. Mm. Yeah, she was trying. She, she was trying. trying. Everyone was else trying. saw it, but yeah. She was yeah, trying. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. saw it. We can see it. We, we can see it. We saw the lip movement. All right, George, Olivia, it's time for the next game. In this next round, we want to test how well you know each other. Yes, and I have two boards here, which I'm going to give to these lovely ladies. Now, they're going to pass them over to you. And we're going to ask you a series of questions, and you guys have to write down the answers. Question number one. What is your partner's choice of takeaway? The way you wrote that both and you smiled is like you don't know, all right? OK. Olivia doesn't like to do that once. So, Olivia, what is your choice of takeaway? Nando's. Nando's. <laughs> Nando's! <Yay! laughs> well done! Well done. I wasn't expecting that. It's because I've had it every day this week. And guys. <laughs> George, uh, what is your favourite takeaway? That's a hard question. It's probably Taco Bell. Taco Bell. Taco Bell. When was the last time you had a Taco Bell? I had tacos last night. <laughs> Olivia, <laughs> Olivia, it's clear to see that you probably didn't get it right. What's your answer? No, I put sushi. Sushi! Oh, you yeah, eat so right, much yeah. sushi. Oh, Sushi's right. all right. I mean, what's happening there? Right. It's the relationship that's fishy, not the takeaway. Who initiates the bedroom? Mm -hmm. Shenanigans. Shenanigans, thank you. How many people are you writing, brother? <laughs> How many people are with you? <laughs> What's happening? I know exactly what he's writing. <laughs> I've not written it. Olivia. I put me. Okay. Me, but not, not often. often. Yeah, so if you're not often, then it's Olivia. Yeah, but it's not often anyway, so. Oh, oh so you guys don't have sex very <laughs> often. Right. Okay. Whoa! Wow. Okay. <laughs> If you're not having sex, that's absolutely fine. But how else are you having fun? I think it's TikTok holding these together. Where's the where's the fun? Where's the passion? Where's the mwah, mwah, mwah? Well, thank you so much, guys. Um, we really appreciate that. We feel like we know you a bit more than we did when we first started. But it is time for you guys to leave. And you'll be back in a few months. So with that being said, round of applause. <laughs> See ya. George and Olivia. He went on holiday with his babes, wanted to go and link his friends. They just met. And left her drunk on a boat or a yacht. I don't think that's a man that thinks about his woman. Ridiculous. No chance. Ridiculous. I ain't leaving Pats. my woman. I'm not Pats. leaving my woman on a yacht, especially Pats. in another country. And he blatantly said to her face, it's bros before her. He said it to mm. her face. Well, listen, guys, I think it's time for us uh, to put our answers in these lovely envelopes. I'm going to take your envelopes. Ooh. You know how it goes. What are we going to do for the next few months? Oh, glad you asked. I am going to be offsetting our carbon footprint. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, OK. You know what? 
you got another? <laughs> okay, sorry. Uh, I'm gonna get the streamer. Oh, I'm gonna get the streamer. No, I'll sort it out. I'll sort it out. Oh, guys, guys, leave it with me. Guys, do you want to see if Olivia and George are still together? Yes. yes. No, I said, do you want to see if Olivia and George are still together? Yes. All right, open the doors. Woo! What's going on? Oh, it's a video call. Look, there's a laptop on top of it. Olivia, George, you used to be sitting next to us. What's happening? We got COVID. Oh, oh no. they got the cocoa. Now, I've had COVID before. That right there did not look like COVID. Does that out. mean you're isolating together? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. yeah. Does that mean you guys are together together? Yeah, of yeah. course. Yeah! yeah. Really? OK, 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 OK. So how's these 10 months been, man? It's been good, yeah. It's been yeah, good. Yeah, we've done a lot. OK. A lot of travelling. The last time you guys travelled, you left our dear sister on the boat. Yeah. Olivia, how has Georgia's support been since that chaotic occasion? I mean, we've been back to Dubai since then and he hasn't left me on a yacht since. So, yeah, we've been good. <laughs> <laughs> I had some doubts. I thought it was more of like a TikTok relationship. I can't lie. Yeah. I know, I'm a villain. Olivia, George, very, very simple. If two people guess correctly, you get £1,000. And I'm not joking. Thousand pounds. It's what yours. Money. Now, if two people get it wrong, then of course you leave with nothing. Do you feel like we thought you was gonna be together? No. no. You never know. Guys, um, that's the like believing us yes. a little bit. The you know. I'm gonna start off first because um, I'm the oldest. Don't You're not you supposed said. to laugh at like that. You know. Just... Anyway. Okay. So. I said split. I said you guys will be split. Um, but. Yes. But it can all change. It can all change. Can all change. I'm going to go next, because mm. I feel like I might have had a bit more faith in you guys, okay. because I saw like the way you guys danced together on TikTok, that there was a synchronization. Yes, there was, Do you know there what was, I mean? There like, was, there was, I can there was. see. I said, stay together. Oh. Yeah, so, uh, I you OK. I you. Oh, so basically, George, Olivia, it's down to shy. So, guys. I said split. Sorry for doubting. I'm sorry. Coming. Unfortunately, you guys did not win the thousand pounds, but you guys have won each other. So round of applause for that. Yes. Yes. We love love. We love love. Congratulations, guys. How are you gonna spend the thousand pounds? Oh so sorry, you didn't win it. I'm not surprised at all, really. I, I kind of saw it coming. People just see two young kids that are doing social media and travelling and just think, oh, give them six months. You know, it's quite difficult to, to see what's actually going on behind closed doors. I voted stay together, not because I felt like they had any chemistry, but I felt like these guys are young, they are making a lot of money together, and it would be silly for them and their bank accounts to break up. I think the future for us looks really good. But yeah, no babies, no getting married any time soon. Definitely not. Well, they've proved me wrong. And the thing is, like, they warmed on me, but I just feel like they're, they're cute, but just not with each other. But look, hey, at least they've got their TikTok. Olivia, George, thank you so, so much for taking part in It Will Never Last. I hope you get better very, very soon. And guys, see you later, see you later. Bye-bye, 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 bye-bye. Bye-bye. Turn it down. Shut the laptop. I don't want to see them. Shut it down. There we go, they're gone. Thanks for watching It Will Never Last with me, Shine Reynolds, Harry Pinero, and Madam Dress. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to channel 4.0. And make sure you click that notification bell so you know when new content has been uploaded.